What's up, YouTube? It's -a me, Smarty DJ here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And can I give you guys a grand welcome back to the Day Shift at Freddy's revamp series? That's right. That's a name I haven't said in a while, and for good reason that I, that I will get into. So. Some of you may be asking, uh, what is this station, the Freddy's 3 revamp series, and why is this number 25? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's get into some details real quick before we hop into the episode. So, going over to the playlist, you will find the Dacia's Freddy's 3 revamp series, which is a series where I am doing revamping my Dacia Shift Freddy's 3 playthrough, because between 2018 and 2019, I did try and cover this game on the channel, but my content during that early days slash years of the channel was a bit here and there so the playthrough was a bit of a mess so i came back decided to start from scratch and we've got most of the endings i continued my good ending c connected to uh the demo playthrough that i did when the game had a demo which you can find linked on the smdj uh featured page which funny fun fact this part of the feature page might get revamped, no pun intended, to include not only the demo playthrough, but all the other Day Shift the Freddy's 3 content, all the, not just Day Shift Freddy's 3 content, but all the Day Shift content on the channel in one place for you to click and enjoy. So yeah. <clears throat> and this is episode 25 because, again, this has been a series connected to everything of all the endings, different playthroughs, and yeah. It's all here, and you can tell different runs and whatnot. So, yeah, that's the gig here. We went from getting high IQ, good ending, a couple miscellaneous endings, Godred, finding Easter eggs, starting the evil run, and a couple, and another miscellaneous ending, and here we are now for the last ending of the main endings that to get that I am here to finally get done. And then afterwards, there might be a few other episodes where I get some alternative routes of other endings and other miscellaneous tycoon shenanigans. So, with that being said, let's just get a move on. But one final detail I am wor that is worth mentioning is on the community tab, I had posted saying, what's this? Day Shift Freddy's 3 returning soon? And I had plans to get the neutral ending, which is what we're doing. This is neutral, en neutral ending part one. And I was asking for name suggestions, and I have a couple here. And, well, we're gonna, you're going to get the grand reveal of the name today. Let's see if any of these suggestions are taken. If I come up with my own, and, yeah. So, with that being said, let's launch the game from my other laptop, by the way. We are doing this from my other laptop. And we are sticking to just the screen display, since, you know, we want to keep this in the traditional way. And we're going to get right on going with the game. We're gonna see that nice Arbergine approved, and you know the drill from now. You know the drill from here. This game is an Arbergine approved. You know what time it is. It's back! Ocean Man! Remember, remember when I did that like half? Of every episode, Ocean Man. We're still, I still haven't got the game capture working, but it is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, we have many continued save files, but we are starting a new today, and we are diving into a new run. And like I said, it has been a while. The last episode was back in May 2022, so you know what? We'll play the intro cutscene again for old times sakes. So let's get this one more time on camera. Let's watch the first tape together, guys. What? Hello there. Let's, let, let's, let's see Dave again. Congratulations on purchasing the start your own Freddy Fast and this pizza relocation kit. 1993 edition. I am your friendly. We're just checking the audio balance real quick. I am not a child murderer. 
Yeah, totally, Dave. Look at all those restaurants, fellas. America. America. Fred Sack. You can't prove anything. You. Sure. There we are again. We're back. Location, location, location. We're back, fellas. Let's go. I'm gonna stop talking over Dave now. Secondly, you need at least two rooms. A room for dancing in, and a room for bleeding out in. Don't splurge on buying a location. Also, save yourself a headache and avoid carpet. You'll thank me later. Next, you need three dancing Pizza, let's go. The nearest doctor will do nicely. And once your pizza house to have that distinctive Freddy's case, don't you? Next, you'll need performers. Robots are expensive. So just buy a fat doggo for 20 bucks. Call it a fucking The doggo's return! Better yet, fish something out of the trash. Don't attempt to murder. Doggos! The rabbit's face on a pizza! On a goddamn pizza. Taxation is theft. Don't pay taxes. Don't drop kid any screaming toddlers. And don't f the facts during business hours. That's all I have for this date. Goodbye, future restaurant owner. And remember, you are the new face of Freddy Fast and this pepperoni three. There we go. And it begins, fellas. Here we are again. With that tape concluded, here we are. Freddy Fazbender's Pizza. Why, hello there, future business owner. Welcome to your new Freddy's location. Like all Freddy's locations, it's probably a complete dump. Maybe, but maybe we can make it profitable this time around. One, rest assured, with enough business savvy ethics, you'll be able to afford running water in no time. Indeed. I'm sure we will. You Freddy's issued camera panel should now be sent to your restaurant currently out. Yep. Depressing, is it? It's a bit small, but I'll give us time, Dave. We will improve this one way or another. Most beginning Freddy's locations have at least two rooms. A dining area and the safe room. Fair enough. This is your dining area. It's an it it will do. It's a room. If you were lucky, you had enough money left over after buying a place to afford tables. Uh, not this time. One, the kind of lucky fellow would choose to start up at Freddy's location. A. This guy right here, Mr. Orange Man in his, in his black suit with his purple, you know, vest. We are, we're opening the restaurant right here, right now. With time, you can upgrade everything from the floors to the wall to the bus on the wall. That's exactly the plan. Dave, upgrade everything from the ground up. Dream big, think of better minds. That's gonna be the goal. Golden Heady! This is your safe room. This is the safe room indeed. It's an off camera room where employees can smoke, complain about you without getting fired, and they put on a horrendous mascot costume. Okay. I think only I think only one of those is happening in this establishment. Um We're gonna we're gonna put on the mascot costumes, that's what I was referring to. Spring book suits are hard to come by these days. So you're probably gonna be serving birthday cake in a bear one see for a while. Jokes on you, Dave. I just stuck Golden Heady onto an existing spring lock body. And called it and called it a day. And called it a day. Frit not. Soon enough, you can buy deaf crabs and then hire young adults to roll their neighbors to die there. Fantastic! Creepy. Sure, it sure is groovy, Dave. 
Show the paperwork. Yep, let's talk the paperwork. The boring side of the company, but it has to be done. Find all of it right now. Do a put it in it and find it all later at your leisure. I mean, that wasn't gonna be the goal, but sure, I guess we're following. We are following the instructions, even the bad ones. Apparently, to start things off. Now, first things first. You have a fuck ton of big red bloods at your disposal. Yep. What name are you gonna slap onto a restaurant? Choose a restaurant name. Well, here's the thing. We have done Bear. We have done, I'm pretty sure we've done Freddo's Vile Pepperonery. I feel like we have done Jack's Uncle Jack's Family Diner. I don't think we have done the second option. But this is clean. We are rebuilding the Freddy Fazbender brain. So we gotta, we gotta stick on a brain with the default typical name. Good choice, I'm guessing. And trust me, Dave, it is going to be the good choice. Now, we've also included several cut out Freddy's heads who go above the name of your pizza joint. Yep. Corporate didn't want me to throw in this bright bad cut down since we accidentally took it mid chunk while he had a kid in his mouth. Yep. But since I'm the only one here now, I put Fred Bear's head in the damn pile. Fair enough, Dave. I guess if you're the only one doing this, I guess you can do what you want. So, choose wisely. Exactly. I am going to choose whose head's going to go above the, your restaurant name. And again, there's Freddy, there's Bonnie, there's Chica, there's Foxy, there's the Golden Fred Bear. But again, we want to be on brand. We are going to be... Well, okay. I guess, to be fair, we are starting off with the Golden Freddy suit. So maybe we should put Fred Bear up for now. But when we get Freddy or another animatronic, we should probably change the, the brand to match the animatronic that is our main star. So I will go Fred Bear to start, but we will switch to Freddy Fazbear probably. You just made the partially irrelevant choice. Woo! Partially irrelevant choices. Let's go. With all of that out of the way, Time to go outside, hold up your daddy up bare head, and call this place open. Yep. Goodbye, and remember, you are the face of Freddy Fast and this pepperoni. We sure are. We are rebuilding this brand. Go outside and open up. Well, first things first, we're just going to make sure our safe room's all nice and dandy. Look at him. It's him. It's the f real Fred Bear. Look at him go. And the golden heady suit that I just, I walk through. Ah, oh, this thing's hideous, but I mean, that's all we have for now, so we gotta stick on brand. Our brand is Fred Bear for now, until we can uh, until we can afford an animatronic, or find one in the back alley, or whatever the plan is. Here we go again, we are reviving the bear pizza restaurant. This is possibly the worst, this is simply the worst possible timeline, because our little parent. Relax, we're just getting started. It's gonna be a-okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make business properly this time. Forget Business 101, how not to run a business. We are actually gonna run a business this time around. Amazing, actual customers have shown up. Good God, if you play your cards right, you can be able to buy tables next month. Time to get suited up and bring cake to the kids. There's our Golden Freddy suit. Our Golden Heady suit. Here we go. Here we go. Nice, nice and ready. We're, we're ready to, to bring the cake to the kids. Take cake to the children. Luckily, you stole a wedding cake from three months ago. Cakes, too st Cakes are too magical to go stale, right? Oh, man, that's good. If any kids get food poisoning, just respond to the parents with that. Totally. It's cake time. And we gotta we gotta be very efficient with with how with the with our ways of making the cake. We wanna make as money as much money as we can in this opening. Man, you are a hungry kid. $33 on the first day, though. That's not bad. We actually made some money. 6 p.m., though. We gave the cakes to the kids, and now they went home. We're closing the doors for the day. And now we get to do the next part of our journey, starting a new restaurant. Taking off the costume, of course. And going home. Well, 
We would go home if we didn't get a phone call. Hello, this is the Los Angeles Police Department. We're starting off strong. They're already at our doorstep. Am I speaking to the owner of Freddy Fazbender's Pizza? Yep, we just opened today, officer. First of all, may we ask for your name, sir? Now, get ready for the reveal of the name I'm choosing for this run. Am I picking one of the name suggestions? Am I picking my own name? Well, to be fair, sir, there. I am combining the two suggestion names to make the ultimate name, Sir Bear. That is our name for here on out. Sir Bear the third. Sir Bear, Sir Bear the third. That's, that's gonna be our name. Sir Bear the third. That is our name from here on out. Sir Bear the third. Why is it the third? Because it's not the third run. It's just, uh, we, we are just the third Sir Bear. Okay, thanks for that. Glad we have that straightened out. Uh, I'm, yes, I'm glad you know my name is Sir Bear the Third. We need to ask you another question. Have you heard anything about what happened outside your restaurant today? <clears throat> what? No, what happened? Basically, a child named Jacob Adams got abducted outside the New Freddy's location at around 5 p.m. Bro, I was, I was serving the cake. How did that happen? No witnesses were close enough to fully make out what happened. Yikes. And the reports that we've gotten so far are totally outlandish and paranormal. We know that you were inside when it happened, and we're just calling all nearby businesses out of courtesy. Please, be vigilant. Well, I, I sure will. If there's an issue, I make sure this restaurant is not going to be tainted. Something is outside your restaurant, and it has already taken one child away. Make sure to lock up tight, and to keep a close eye out. I sure will. Thank you, officer. Good night. Stay safe. I sure will. Thank you for informing me in informing Sir Bear the Third that there was an incident at some restaurant. Now I'm gonna like, kind of get ready to make sure the restaurant doesn't go bankrupt or under any investigation. So, you know what? You know what time it is. We're gonna leave our Golden Bear restaurant right now. We're gonna walk over to a photo negative Freddy Fazbear. So, you know what time it is. It's time to go find an old animatronic. And I already know which animatronic I'm salvaging because I have a plan for this run. Yes, I would also like to save two. Let me save nice and quickly. And you know what? Let me just see the save files we have open. So I, since I like to space out my stuff, I like to space out all my runs. <laughs> I'm just seeing if there are any earlier files I can save on. I don't see many. So you know what? I'm going to save down. I'm going to save. Uh, actually. I'm going to save on file. 28 because there are 28 days in February and I'm recording the first episode in February so you know what 20 save 28 it is sir bear the third level one 16 minutes 16 seconds and we're back at the Tasha Freddy's 2 location here we go again why hello there future right, restaurant hello there future restaurant owner look I'm gonna level with you yet. I don't know what you're really gonna hear these picks in but all I know, Afton Robotics has closed its doors, and no new robots are being made. What? All of that aside, why would you want to spend money on brand new robots, when you're just gonna get children's blood and buffalo wing sauce all over them a month after purchase? I don't think that's gonna happen, but I mean, if that's your argument, I guess I will hear you out. What you should do is cut corners. Ooh, I don't know if I want to go that risky, but I'll continue to hear you out. Cutting corners at the cost of customer safety. Why, that's the American dream. I don't think that's the American dream, Dave, but sure. So, here's what you need to do. Grab a phone book and look for the nearest abandoned Freddy's location. I guess that's what we're, we're, do we're doing right now. Most of them are abandoned, as of me recording this. So unless they're bulldozed or burned down, 
You've got easy pickets. Fair enough. Go to whatever location you can get to, find your way inside, and then make the most complete robot you can. Yep. Shy, those old things might be dangerous. What wanted? Yeah, it, I'm. It's pro. It's 100% possible, Dave. What? You'll save a fortune. If you say so. Besides, customers love those fucking things. Nothing beats Andy's nostalgia. Yeah, but sometimes times move on and you need to get with the times. But, you know, yeah, we're going to find something here. Warning and that's useful. Future restaurant owner. If anything goes wrong, you can always just relocate and change your name, right? Mmm, maybe. After all, what kind of man buys a Freddy's location and uses their real name? It, it wouldn't be Sir Bear the Third, that's for sure. I'm definitely not someone anyway, else. Anyway, that's it for this tape. Yep. Goodbye, and remember, you are the funky face of Freddy Fazbender's pepperoni. We sure are. That's the end of the tapes. Boy, it sure is dark in here. Well, time is searching. I'm sure I'll find some. I'll find more here than I did last time. Last time? What would you like to do? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go from east, west, east to west, and then south to north. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, look at there's a balloon, there's a balloon gremlin. We can inspect the balloon gremlin. Come on, surely even you don't want a one-legged BB. Nah, you know what, nah, BB's, BB's kind of, I don't know, he's, he's kind of, he seems like he's, he's been down for the count. Ah, a spring lock suit. Is this even why he's looking, inspecting? But you know what? Let's inspect. Wow. And to think he once wore this thing for a living. Strangely enough, someone seems to have repaired it since you last seen it. Well, if it's been touched and tampered with, I don't think that makes it even remotely safe. So, you know what? Let's let's keep exploring. That's that's two animatronics we've encountered. I'm sure there's more around here. Yo, it's the gamer! It's the Toy Freddy! Look at him! Look at him now! Inspect the Toy Freddy. Toy Freddy's in poor condition. He's missing a left, a leg, and an eye. Oh man, even Toy Freddy is down for the count. Even Toy Freddy is down for the count. I, got, I meant to do south, but I guess we're going to the north first. There's a show stage. There's nothing on the stage. Weird that none of the animatronics are actually on stage. They're in random rooms. There's also a room behind the stage, which we should check. And what do we have here? We have... Withered Freddy, it looks like. Inspect Withered Freddy. Boy, Freddy sure has seen better days. You know what? Freddy is the star attraction. So you know what? I'm gonna salvage Withered Freddy. I know we have Toy Freddy. Toy Freddy's a newer model, even though he is currently Withered. But I think Withered Freddy, he is classic. He's a classic animatronic to get. So you know what? We're gonna get Freddy, and you know, as time goes on, you will you will see what see the other animatronics I plan to salvage, and see if you guys can uh, pick up why I'm salvaging these animatronics, or I will explain by the end of the run. One of the two. So, last thing to do uh, before we leave, there is South that we didn't check yet, so let me just check South real quick. South facing corridor has been blocked off by a pile of rubble from a collapsed wall. Has someone been here since I last have? What would you like to do? Well, we're gonna leave and take with it. Leave the pizzeria and take with it Freddy with us. I have got what I came for. Time, it's time to go. Very well. What's done is done. Say goodbye to the Freddy's Bakefield location for the last time and drag with the Freddy through the window. Tomorrow's another day.
And with that, the first day is concluded, and now it's time to go home, but you know what? There, you know, I'm sure there's nothing we have to do. We can go to bed now, you know? We've done a lot of work today. We served cake, we dragged Willard Frey through a window, you know. It's time to go. Let's, let's just get a move on. Let's just go. Let's go. Here we go, entering our house, which is a very familiar house, but it is, it is our house currently nonetheless. Here we are again. You have one thing left to do tonight. Go to your workshop. I wonder if I want to sit on the couch. Torture of Peter's recently deceased dog. Sparky the second! See? That the dog was Sparky the second. Now we are Sir Bear the third. You know we we are carrying that the se the legacy with the numbers and in, 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 in the character's name. Portrait of the Kennedy family before all madness started. The rug that Peter's dog used to sleep on. Portrait of Peter and Caroline before Peter's accident. Bum 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 Hmm A picture of Dee and Sparky, your childhood dog. So there so we have Sparky, we have Sparky the second, and now we are Sir Bear the third. The Peter this is Peter Caroline's room. You kept the door locked since they passed away. And the third door is our workshop, but you know what? It may be late, but you know there's something else you need to take care of first. You're gonna sleep later. Understood? I don't want to do that. Yes, for this run, we are skipping the entire flip side. Are you sure you wish to do this? This choice will only allow you to get the neutral slash evil ending. You will not be able to save them. I am tired. It's slumber time. On second thought, I'll go to my workshop. Nope. We want the neutral ending, so we are going down this path. I am tired. It is slumber time. Very well. Tomorrow is another day. with that we have yes I will save the game again but yeah we have completed the entire first day and Sir Bear the third's adventure is only beginning now just to see I've been recording for 27 minutes so I'm gonna play for like five more minutes for the we end the episode but we are coming to the end of the episode this is gonna be about a 30 minute episode and next time we will be getting on with the pizzeria creation, and we'll be having our first employee, or maybe multiple employees, and we'll be taking care of the pizzeria, so. Why, hello there. Welcome back to the start your own Freddy Fast and this Pizza Kit 1993 edition. And launch your own eating Oka Pizza joint. We sure have. Without it in nine months, without burning it down, or flooding the place with our cheese. Yep, we didn't do that. We are, we did vent. We're doing very good this run. Don't tread on me. Don't be a fucking square. Oh man, squares. Help me. The black market. Own guys coming on. Phone guy. They all have phones for it. So before you ask, I am. Location has one. The doggo location! Hashtag doggo location! From 100% recycled Sprangwalked Freddy's employee. So don't worry about animal cruelty. Rest assured, most of these men were probably dead before I got turned into living from people. I hope that's the case. That is kind of a yikes, though. Phones and cassette players. Mostly. Mostly. If you decide to loot your way of murder any children, turn off the security cameras first. Or at the very least, remember to crudely face the pit. Dumb janitor, not Dave. Open the CCTV footage so he gets that for the crime instead of you. That's all for this kid. Remember to smile. You own this fucking place. I sure do own the restaurant. Let's go. We now have... I, 783 tokens and cash. We have Freddy and Phone Guy. And you know what? I will...
skip the phone guy introduction, but maybe I will do the phone guy introduction on another day. But yeah, sure. So, I have enough money to buy the Grow Your Own Hallway Kit in minutes, just a water kit. I'll give this place a hallway, a bathroom, and an office. Uh, sounds good. Uh, well, you're the boss. Where do you want the hallway to go? You know what? Let's have the hallway be south bearing. Alright, you should take a moment to grow the hallway. Boys, Harry's back. Let's go. There we go. Hallway complete. Did we just grow an entire hallway just now? Yeah, it's right down there. I see you salvage an older an older robot. T you t I'll tell you what, that old Freddy animatronic reeks. Did you find it in a morgue? A morgue for robots, I suppose. Damn, my great robbing days are behind me. Uh, a morgue for robots, I suppose. Oh, I forgot to mention, you get bonus customer satisfactory points if one of the robots matches our restaurant mascot. So, sticking it with a Freddy head above the sign might be a good idea. Alright, that's the most pressing business out of the way. When you're ready to open up shop, walk outside through the door on your left and open the pla this place up. Feel free to talk to me in any, any, in any of the other rooms and we can customize your restaurant to your liking, funds permitting. You have the option to randomize your pizzeria right now. This will completely change. This will complete your pizzeria layout randomly, but as a result, you won't be able to choose which rooms you like, and you'll get random selections instead. You also lose out on freebie dollar bonuses to go towards buying new stuff for your restaurant. Choose wisely. Well, we want to do manual build. It's a wise choice for a good reason. And our first order of business before the end of the episode. What do you need, Sir Bear the Third? We need those tables. Tables will set us back 250. Sure, let's go for the tables. Excellent. Can do. We now have the tables, and we have Freddy. I'm gone. It's Freddy, all right. What do you need, Sir Bear the Third? Well, for now, we want to save the game because that is the end of the episode. So if you have enjoyed, do leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Hit the bell to be notified when I come back for the next episode of the Neutral Run, where we will customize the pizzeria, get through the next day, salvage our next animatronic, and go from there. This ep this this run should probably take us like four to five episodes, hopefully at most. Maybe I'll, I will live stream part of this run, but I don't know. If, if this is premiering, you can let me know in live chat if you want to see at least one episode live streamed out of this run, and it might happen. But until next time, if you have enjoyed, do leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Hit the bell to be notified when I come back for more Day Shift the Price 3 revamp on the channel. And yeah, I will. Until, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you on the flip side. Bye, everybody. With Freddy, any any last remaining comments? I'm gone. Well, you heard you heard it here, folks. You heard it here first, folks. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>